you know, one of my techniques for so many years was moderation. You know, as soon as I felt the pain enough, you know, I had a, a really bad hangovers or something like that, or if something else happened in my life. You have the pain in your life. The, the pain is the motivation for the moderation. And then you moderate for a while, you cut back on the alcohol, and because you've cut back on the alcohol, the pain diminishes. But as soon as the pain diminishes, then you go right back to where you were, or even worse, because now you're patting yourself on the shoulder um, for achieving something, but you've actually achieved nothing, right? You've achieved a bit of uh, a respite from the damage, but apart from anything else, you've got, you've not achieved anything. So, um, you know, one of the biggest lessons for me was in order to move forwards, I've got to stop the flow completely. And it took me a long, long, long time. Like I said, 30 years before I realized that. And it was really because I was seeing my son following in my footsteps, among other things that caused me to do that. Now think about the stopping the flow as you go away on vacation, somebody's left the tap on and you come back and the house is flooded. You know, that really is what you can say about your body. You've flooded your body with this crap for 30 years or however long you've been doing it, in my case, 30 years. And the first thing that you can do before you call the insurance companies, before you clean up, before you can repair any of the damage that's been caused by it, you've got to turn off the tap. You know, you've got to turn off the flow of alcohol. Um, then you're, you can employ whatever systems you want to move forwards and to make things right, to repair the damage if you can, uh, to repair the damage both internally, externally, but you can't do any of that without stopping the flow. So that is the first step in the process. Stop the flow of alcohol. And you know, one of these things, if we're talking about the, this from the perspective of um, that analogy of, uh, of re, you know, turning off the water and redoing your house, is now you've got the opportunity to redo your house better, you know? So you might decide, well, I didn't like the floors there. So now, now that I'm putting in new floors, I'm gonna put in something which is a lot more practical, a lot better for me. Same thing with what you're doing here. You're, you've got the opportunity, if you so wish, um, to put in the time and energy to making things better. All right, take care of yourself. Speak to you in the next one.